Hey guys, what's up? I thought today I'd do a little behind the scenes sort of video just so you can see how everything goes down from my recording to the video, the whole process, just so you can see what happens in my little room. <laughs> I'm in New York City, so it's a little bit tiny. This is my little workspace here. Got some new flowers, so anyway, let's start. So the first thing I do is have obviously my song prepared. Normally I never have my makeup done, so just like pretend this isn't happening because I usually look pretty bad <laughs> on my recording days. And I'm usually just wearing a t-shirt and shorts because I have to have the AC off whenever I record. I'll record at night so it's a little quieter. You can even hear <laughs> you can even hear the traffic in the background. It's super loud in New York. I always start by having some tea because I'm a huge coffee drinker. I don't want my throat to get all groggy. I'll have my coffee and then I'll drink tea after to kind of restart things. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and make my tea and we can get started. Oh my, so, so I dyed my hair again last night because it takes a lot of upkeep, this red. It's beautiful, but it takes a lot of upkeep. Normally it doesn't stain my hands, but for whatever reason, Last night it did, and I've been trying all morning to scrub it off, but it's not working. I'm not dying, I just have red hands. I didn't murder anyone, everyone's safe, we're good. <laughs> Since I'm doing this behind the scenes, might as well show you my whole setup. Not too much, but... She's cute though. <laughs> so right now for all of my recordings, I've been using Logic. It's just the easiest for me so far has worked amazing. I always recommend Logic, especially if you're just starting out because it's really similar to GarageBand. That's what I was recording on. If you don't mind. If you don't mind, we would like to take a moment to invite you to an ongoing performance. Don't mind, we would like to take a moment to invite you to an ongoing performance in a hall of tragedies to watch the circus of the day. There's a place, there's a place in the dark, there's a place. <clears throat> To be honest, that's like the hardest part of recording is the noise outside. Yeah, but we just kind of work around it. Luckily, this music is a little more upbeat, so it's a lot easier to mask all of the outside influence. Yeah, that's why I usually record at night, but it's like, what time is it? Two. It's 2 p.m. at nighttime, everyone kind of gets quiet. Er. This masquerade of souls needs a victim. Won't you be our hopeless guest? 
pretend it's make believe inside your head this nightmare's as real as it gets in the circus of the in the circus of the head show must go on hit the lights we're going till there's no pulse left this masquerade of souls needs a victim won't you be our hopeless guess needs a victim won't you be our hopeless guess but if it helps you can <laughs> No! This nightmare's as real as it gets In the circus of the, in the circus of the, in the circus of the dead There's a place in the dark where stories go to hide Buried deep underground, pain and torment like a knife Whoa, on a lit up stage Whoa, tears on display it's when fear comes to life, no one never stood a chance as you gasp for breath here on the stage. There's no escape. Encore, now the ring master comes for you. I'll be over soon. To be honest though, the best part is the laughs. <laughs> It's really awkward, but it turns out really cool. <laughs> God, <laughs> that's so awkward. All right, that's a wrap. I'm going to send this over to Peter. He's like the best producer. <laughs> he's, um, he works with Try Hard Ninja and he's amazing. The dude's amazing. Sweet. Now I'm gonna go get somewhat presentable and film the video portion of it because that's the fun part. Well, the other fun part. I actually like recording a lot. All right, now I'm ready to do the video portion of it. The reason I do them separate is because I just think it's better quality for you to hear the recorded version along with the video instead of just the video version. I don't know. I just want the best quality possible. It might not look matched up completely at some times, but I'm doing my best. <laughs> All right, I'm setting up my other camera at a decent angle. Wow, I'm so pale. I need a trip to the beach. I usually just go to Spotify or whatever the song is on. Usually it's in, I've recorded it first, but since I recorded and posted it to Spotify first, I, um, I can find it there. If you don't mind, we would like to take a moment to invite you to an ongoing performance in a hall of tragedies to watch the circus of the day.
is like the grand finale. It'll all be over soon. Yeah, this is my little setup here. I was obviously filming on this one because that one's better quality. You can hear the siren again. So you guys saw a filming of the filming. So yeah, basically I just do a million takes of that. I try and get one where I'm obviously not messing up the face at any point and that it kind of matches up good enough. <laughs> But it's actually harder than you think because it's all one tape. So yeah, that's my process. I hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes version. And if you wanna see the final product, click right here so you can see what this is the making of. And if you go down to the description, the link below is to Spotify so you can listen to it wherever you want. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye.